this episode is about something we all take for granted. The luxury of having a right good dump. Stuart's building our brand new septic system for our sewer. And I've got to say, Stuart, I'm not that impressed. You just brought a few bales of hay. I mean, what's all that about? Is that what we're going to be putting in? That's what you're going to be putting in. <laughs> this is a 28 meter C2 raised yeah. on-site sewer. Brilliant. And then, so for anyone who doesn't know how a septic system works, yeah. can you give us like a, a real sort of morons version of how it yeah. works? Yeah. We're going to run a pipe right, 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 right to your new home. Yeah. And every flush that comes out of the house. There'll be a few of those. Will go into the septic tank. Yeah. And it's about three days retention in that tank. Yeah. It would take about three days for the sewer to come in and then the sewer to be leave. And every flush in is a flush out to your field, right. to the pipe. So yeah. it, go, it, it begins in the, the loo, down into a tank, which you're gonna put there. Yeah. And then it just, the effluent just goes out into this beautiful field that is just doing a really nice job of uh, tidying up there. There's something strangely satisfying about watching a JCB at work. And then the other thing that Stuart's gonna do is make sure that we've got an RV hookup Yep. so that we can, when we park the camper and we come back from a trip, we can empty all the sewage out of the camper directly into a pipe and that'll end up in this system. In, into the tank and, and, and into the system the exact same way. I've got to admit, that's the bit I'm most excited about. Right. Just, just the luxury of being able to do that instead of yeah. going to a sunny dump every time. Right. Just do it on our own property. Yeah. Two days away. Really? Now, in Canada, you have to think carefully about where to put your septic system because, legally, it has to be at least 50 feet from a drilled well or 100 feet from a dug well. So choose wisely. Where have they dropped off a load of cat litter? A load of cat litter? Yeah. Well, that, that's for your cats. <laughs> <laughs> They're not that big. Yeah. No, that's the sand that will go in the bottom oh. uh, of the trench. By the end of this first day, the goal was to install the main pipe that spreads the effluent into the field. And we were all happy with a job well done. But tomorrow would prove more challenging. So today the uh, holding tank is getting installed. That is a 1000 gallon concrete holding tank, which actually comes in two pieces. And uh, Stuart's just arrived, he's gonna dig the hole and then put that giant tank into the hole and that's where all of our sewage will begin its life before it spreads out into the field. So I'm just gonna put, put myself in a comfortable perch and uh, watch him dig this massive hole. We'd love it if you became part of this adventure by subscribing. Oh, and don't forget to tickle my bell. So this is the bit that makes me the most nervous because if he digs down, and this is the deepest he's gonna be digging so far, and then hits rock, that's gonna cost me thousands of dollars in getting a rock chipper in to drill away at the rock to create that hole that he needs for that holding tank. So I'm just nervously watching, hoping that he doesn't hit rock and that he's at least got enough depth. I think he needs six and a half feet depth to get the full tank under the earth. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. That sounds worryingly like rock and uh, if he's hit rock then <laughs> that's, that's money literally down the drain or oh, oh, down the sewage yeah oh god uh, it's not a good sound so Stuart's just stopped for a second he's gonna try and check just to see what the depth is and oh god this is the moment of truth will it go in or won't it just from the top Les how close we are. So the engineer just showed up to uh, check on all of Stuart's work just to make sure he's doing everything right and I've got no worries I'm pretty sure everything will be good so we'll just see. Well there was no angry shouting or gesticulation so I was rather hopeful that we were in the clear. Well I think we passed inspection so we're, we're good to proceed but we still don't know for sure if we can get into that trench. So is it looking good, Stuart? We got enough, enough depth to get the tank in? We got enough depth. woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! We got there. So now Stuart's gonna lift that massive five-ton tank with his JCB and drop it in that hole. This should be quite the uh, adventure. To make things easier, the 
tank comes in two halves, so obviously they set the bottom half very carefully in the trench. And this is one of the most important things to get right, as the tank needs to sit at just the right angle. Come back. Okay, good. Whoa. Stuart then takes measurements to ensure that the tank is perfectly placed. Good. And then it's time for the top half of the tank to be set in place. Yep. Three. Three. With the tank perfectly placed, Stuart backfills with the dexterity of Uncle Grumpy applying crack filler to the bags under his eyes. Now, if you're wondering what the hay is all about, well, that was placed to prevent all of the grass seed from blowing away in the gale force winds. So let's get a shot of that stuff. Black licorice. Black licorice. So Stuart was just joking that uh, Blake, who's the new guy on the scene, is going to go through his initiation and uh, he's got to chew on the black licorice for ten whole minutes. And he, no problem. No. Problem. no? <laughs> can we get can we get a clip of that? <laughs> so this pipe now that connects to the foundation in the house has to have, I think you said a, a three percent incline, so that it it actually you know drains down, so gravity can do its thing. So that's what they're trying to figure out now, just to get that three percent. I feel like your turds are a bit wider than this, so... What, that six inch pipe? Yeah. Well, what are we going to do about that? You might need some more fibre. Fibre, okay. right. You're, you're just going to shimmy that off? Yeah. Put your holes in, gone. Brilliant. Easy. So now he's digging the trench to the actual foundation so that he can extend this, this pipe and goes right into the church and that's where the sewage will make its way down to this tank. As Stuart got closer and closer to the foundation, I got more nervous because it was almost time to connect the holding tank to the church and that meant I'd have to trust Stuart to drill a hole into my foundation. So you need some strength to drill this, right? This, you're gonna be a real yeah. man. Blake is ready for this. Blake's ready for it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it because it's so dark in the shade, but basically what they're doing now is drilling into the foundation, right through the concrete. And they're using a, a it's probably like a, a one inch drill. That's, that's the thickest they've got to go through the concrete. So they'll have to drill a series of holes and then smash it through to get the four inch or slightly larger hole that they need to make for this sewage pipe. I was truly mesmerized by the depth of Lesser's workman's crack, which is one of the best I've ever seen. But this was not an easy task. So they took a break to fill the tank with water, because that added weight helps to settle the tank in place. Quick, get your shower while you can. <laughs> and then it was time to get back to more drilling. I don't see light, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting happier, I think. But the day was done and I was completely exhausted after watching people work hard all day. So how's it looking, Stuart? What do you, what do you think? It looks like we're going to finish it tomorrow. Yeah. Challenging getting through that wall. Yeah, it's a bit late, eh? So tomorrow, there's no sense of staying here tonight till 8. And everybody mad and discouraged. Yeah. So we'll put a bin there and a bin there and go into the wall. And then we'll try dig a little trench. And we'll level the rest of the material. It's all good. We had a good day. Yeah. So it's the next day after we basically had to stop because of that drilling problem and I just want to check and see where we're at. Oh, they've finished it. They've actually, actually done it. They must have come early this morning and finished it off. So I was hoping to get a, a clip of the pipe going into the foundation, but uh, we've, we've missed the boat. So it's done. Yeah, it's pretty good that they're on it. But yeah, so this is what we got now. So the pipe is somewhere under there, about four feet deep. So just back your bum up to that, that rock there and uh, let her rip. <laughs> Should we put a toilet on it for now? Oh, that would be funny. <laughs> that would actually be quite a good gag. Well, four months have gone by since we installed the septic system and we haven't had the chance to test it yet. So the camper is fully loaded with months worth of deposits. It's really quite ripe. There's all kinds of stuff in there. So it's time to finally do the ultimate test and hook this up to Stuart's handiwork and just see how well it does. Are you ready? Yeah, I have faith in Stuart. So 
I haven't actually done this before. No, it's usually me that does it, isn't it, love? No, just, I tell you what, love, I'll, I'll take care of that end. If you could just do the, the end that goes into the, the septic system, I'll hook up the other one, please. Oh, it fits like a glove. Yeah, and oh. you just gotta make sure that's held on tight, right? Just, yeah. So I'll connect up the pipe to the outlet. Make sure that that's tight, because we don't want it popping off like it did that time in Cambo, do we? And then we'll just take up some slack. And it's in the uh, septic system, so you should be good. It feels like there's a bit of suction there, so I think I think you should be good. Right, so I'm gonna pull the black tank, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> Can you get me a towel? A towel? Um, I don't think we've got any towels, love, but I'll tell you what I have. We've got a nice lens cloth. Yeah, who was that? Okay. So because this is a really high budget enterprise, um, we've got our very own special effects department, which is Amanda, basically. She's, she's making the fake poo, which is gonna be splattered all over her visage uh, when we have a, a malfunction during the, the sewage removal. So we've got some beef and vegetable soup. Oh, that looks quite, that looks quite poo-like. Oh, I don't know, there's quite a lot of Mm, that's not that's that doesn't look, that just looks like what it is soup. <laughs> so what we're going to use to uh, to thin out the the uh, feskies? Chocolate milk. Oh, I love a bit of chocolate milk. Yeah, don't don't sup it all. Oh. Hey, let me have a bit. Mm. Oh, that's good in it, right? Okay, let's let's get that poured into our sewage mixture. Let's get it in there. No, oh. just throw it all in, look. It might not turn to a nice color. See, like that looks good. Oh yeah. That's a good consistency, eh? Yeah. What a dream. Just add it to the poo, will ya? Ah! <laughs> so you're gonna be you're gonna be wearing that, love. That looks gross. Right, so in my creative vision for this, I think it would look most distressing if Amanda's got like obviously she's covered in poo. <laughs> but she's also got like a bit of folded up toilet paper stuck to her, to her neck or something so and we're, we're so authentic at the special effects department here that we're going to use authentic rv toilet paper so i think you know for the first wipe you know a good four ply it's oh maybe that's too much we'll do it we'll do a two ply and then i've got a backup fold which i can add later and then we'll just we'll just apply that to, to your neck is that all right love yeah you don't mind being completely smattered in feskies well, I'm saying this now, but when it happens, I don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> At least it won't smell bad. It'll smell of... I don't like the smell. Chocolate milk and soup. It smells gross, but it does smell better than poop. Well, yeah, especially ours. <laughs> Not bad. Like, I feel like I should throw it at yeah, you. Yeah, you should. Right, you ready? Don't get a little further away. What are you worried about? It's, got, it's where, going on you. What is it? Where are you aiming? I kind of want to just go oh, like that. I'm going to go up my nose. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to... Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> right, hold your... Close, close your nose because no, it's going I on your face. Do it. <laughs> don't do it so hard. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's got a splat. Oh. Right. Close your eyes. <laughs> it's coming out of the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out of the switch. <laughs> I do love you. I love you so much. Can I, uh, can I take you out for dinner? Well, I've got dinner on me. 